Hi people, um, so I haven't had this drink, LaCroix, in a long time. Maybe this is the first time ever actually. And I've heard it's a really Silicon Valley kind of thing to drink. Um, so I had some and I don't like it. What I heard people say was, it's a lot like sparkling water and I hate sparkling water. Um, I just think it tastes bitter. So I guess it's not surprising I don't like LaCroix either. Um, oh, also I'm at a very interesting part of Stanford. I think I was just over there somewhere, which is called the Knoll, spelled K-N-O-L-L. -L. And, okay, I wanna make sure the lighting's good so you can see my face. But it's, I think the building's also for Karma, which is a, I don't know what you call it, like an organization within Stanford that deals with computer computer music, so both generation of music with computers and also like classifying music or providing music suggestions, stuff, uh, stuff like that. Um, so that's kind of the kind of stuff I'm already interested in, so maybe this department within Stanford is made, is like perfect for me. Anyway, in this video, I want to talk about this cool pattern in English that I, I wrote a comic about when I was like... 11, but I never got to show it to you. <coughs> Whenever you see the word notebook, I want you to realize that it, there's two words, note and book, but the first word looks like the word naughty, because if you pronounce, if you're not good at English and you're pronouncing this wrong, it's naughty. And then, what's this? It's B-O-O-K, -O -O but like maybe you have a stutter, maybe you have dyslexia or something, it kind of looks like B-O-K, -okay, right? You know, like... <sighs> When a kid is misbehaving and you want to tell them to behave, you say, Hey kid, stop it. Be okay. So what's the point of all of this? Well, being naughty and being okay are opposites. So naughty be okay is a paradox. And, okay, this is all coincidence. It really means nothing. But I always thought it was funny because um, for the last 10 years, every time I've seen the word notebook, and sat down to think about it, I remember that story about Naughty Be Okay, um, the paradox within the notebook. And hopefully after watching this video, you too will always think of the Naughty Be Okay paradox when you see the word notebook. Um, so hopefully that was a little interesting. Um, and there, daily video done before the sunset. Wow, what an achievement. <laughs> okay, what's left? Google t-shirt, oh yeah. Um, this isn't a good ending, but I'm not gonna edit it.